We the Center Broadcasting Company. This is Justin Mott reporting from Logansport, Louisiana. I'm here today at the Community Bank of Louisiana with the Vice President, Mr. John Russell. Now we're going to be discussing today the Kenneth Harvey story and the production of the movie Game Changer. Now exactly when did you meet Kenneth? I knew Kenneth uh, pretty much all of my life. Kenneth was several years older than I was. and. In fact, I was in the fifth grade when Kenneth was injured in 1964. And we knew each other simply because being in a small town, families knew each other, people worked together, we attended games together and watched him play. So that was kind of how our relationship was up through that, that point in time. Now, he, he was really good at basketball and football. He was. Uh, Kenneth was a prodigy of sorts in basketball because even in the eighth grade, he made the varsity team and even scored 30 points in a uh, playoff game in the ninth grade in basketball. And uh, he was a, a probably a better basketball player, even though he was a really good football player. But uh, it, he set himself apart as an athlete and he was one of the most sought after basketball players uh, approaching his senior year in basketball back during that time. Now tell us, how, how did he get hurt? Kenneth was injured in the final game of the season, November the 13th, uh, 1964. Uh, it was homecoming, the final game of the year, and it was right before halftime, and he made a seemingly routine tackle on a running back, and the, re the results of it was a compressed spinal cord. And uh, in 1964, they had very little knowledge of those type injuries and he was transported to Shreveport where he remained in a coma for over three months. And the doctors, they only gave him a few years to live. That's correct. When he first, considering that type of injury and what I was involved in it, uh, they prepared the family at least for the fact that he could be looking at three, four, five, six, seven years life expectancy. And of course, the rest of the story is that he's still alive and doing well today. Now, uh how did you get involved with the production of this movie? I think we would need to go back to 2009 when Ben Freeman, the producer of the movie, uh, came up with an idea of honoring Kenneth uh, with a uh, tribute weekend, which we did in 2009, where we paid tribute to Kenneth and his life and what he meant to this community. And we even went as far as to erect a monument at the school in honor of him. And through all of that, it brought a lot of people, old teammates, old schoolmates over the years, a lot of Logansport alumni together to put that on. And one of the wishes that we had, we would love to see Kenneth's life story on film. And that's kind of how it started and it evolved from that. And it's probably four or five years in the works and in the last year or so it got ran down really close when we found a director and a producer so that we could actually make the movie. And the world premiere is coming up this Saturday at the Rio. Friday. It's Friday night at, uh, and I want to differentiate, there's actually a, uh, an, a deal Friday night uh, and it's mainly for the people that were in the movie and that produced the movie. The actual community event is Saturday night and it'll run Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday of next week, which is the 19th, 20, 21st, and the 22nd at 7.30. All right, well, thank you for meeting with us today. Very well, nice meeting with you. With Center Broadcasting, this has been Justin Mott reporting.